There's a wonderful story that I love to tell. It is about missionaries going to Africa and doing a service. There was a service there. It was about giving of yourself. And a tribal woman, when the offering basket was passed to her, instead of putting in a coin, she put it on the ground. And she stared at the offering basket, said a prayer, and stepped into it. Well, the missionaries were all upset. They thought that she didn't understand. But through translators, they came to understand themselves that she wanted to give her whole self to God. If you want to have a better life, that is what you do. You give more of who you are. And when you do, everything begins to change. Someone told me years ago, for the seed is in your hand, but the harvest is in God's hand. There have been times in my life that I have not been prosperous, and there have been times that I have been. And the times that I have been, I credit it all to God. We're 20 years old in this ministry now, and people are saying all the time, asking the question about its outstanding success. They want to know what is the secret sauce. Well, the secret sauce for me in my personal life and this ministry is tithing. It is about giving more back than you receive. Now, no one can go back and make a brand new start, but anyone can start from now and make a brand new ending. Well, sometimes life gives us a cactus. And when this happens, we often grab on tight and squeeze. It's what human mind tells us to do. And often we savor the suffering. We might even be so bold to say that it's God's will that we suffer. But it's God's will that you do better, better than you did yesterday. But in order to do so, you must team up with God. A successful life is measured in two ways. Number one, by what you gain. Number two, by what you give. A spiritual person always gives back more than they receive. True generosity toward the future consists of giving everything to the present. You remember the grocery store Acme? They were big when I was growing up. Their whole philosophy was giving more than they received. If you came in to buy a pound of meat, they would give you back 17 or 18 ounces. They, do th they did this on every order. And then the bean counters came in and said, this is not good business practice. And, and Acme went out of business in a very short period of time. Jesus Christ in John 10.10 10 said, I came that you might have life and have that life abundantly. I pray that you have an abundant life and I pray that you discover what we discovered years ago of giving back, of giving to life. And I pray as we approach the end of the year, you'll consider giving to this ministry. And your life can change as you give, as you tithe. I have a sign in my office that I'd like to share with you. It says, today I will attempt something so impossible that it would be absolutely impossible if God were not in it. So often we go through life in a daze, half asleep, and repeating yesterday over and over again. Hillman said, tell me what you yearn for, and I shall tell you who you are. What we reach for, the ideal image that drives our wandering, defines us. I pray in the future that people will think of you and think of your giving, and they will realize that you have something special, and so you do, because God comes through you to bring the harvest.